Today we're staying with power supplies for a moment. This is the popular UK made Tarran power supply from 1981-1982. These were made in Wales and you've got a dragon there on the front just to prove it. This is one we bought in a batch of stuff. Um, we bought some Duff power supplies off eBay some years ago and uh, most of them got overhauled and, and sent back out. But I hung on to this one. I don't know why I hung on to this one, but I did. I've just changed the fuse in the mains plug for a 3 amp fuse instead of the one which was fitted, which was 13. And uh, I've never looked inside one of these before, and we'll see whether it works and what it needs doing to bring it up to standard. So having opened it up and cleaned the front panel and managed to get the marker pen off with isopropyl alcohol, um, we're greeted with um, an innards where we've got an output transistor on the heat sink and there's a printer circuit board mounted on the back. So we'll just dislodge that heat sink and have a look at the board. Right, so having taken it apart, I've never seen inside one of these before, as I say. It's had a bit of an interesting bodge. I've taken this huge capacitor out of that, I'll just make sure that's in view of the camera. It's like it's out of a computer from a bygone era. That says on it 4700 microfarads at 40 volts. I mean that's huge isn't it by today's standard. It's also dated 1976. The actual capacitor, the main smoothing capacitor on the power supply is 2200 at 35 volts and there's a small one there which I can't read at present but I will tell you. So you've got a nice transformer, um, maybe it's a 70 watt one this, so that, what's that, oh, that's the 5 amp version isn't it, yes. It's 5 and a bit isn't it, 70 watts. Um, so you've got the smoothing capacitor, that's 2200, I presume that's some kind of regulator I see, it's not a number I recognise. And then the output of that is amplified by that pretty standard 2N3055 TO3 case transistor. We're going to change those capacitors as a, because clearly the fact they've bodged that 4700 in uh, proves there's an issue there. And um, let's see what happens. OK, so a day's passed since the last uh, record on this video. I... Seeing as Mr. Chippy's not here, I'll do the poking about inside. So I replaced the 2200 microfarad capacitor at 25 volts with one the same. And then I powered it up, put the meter across the capacitor, and found it was 25.7. Well, a capacitor offload, that's of course offload. If it was put on load, that voltage did drop under the 25 volts. And I thought to myself, yes, you know, that can go out and be on no load and then it'll be back in for repair in a year's time, which is no good at all. So what I did, I ordered a 2200 microfarad capacitor at 35 volts from RS Component so we could get it quickly and finish the video off. And uh, the other thing that happened yesterday is that when I put the car light bulb on it, the 2 amp per load, the primary, sorry, the secondary fuse, that's the secondary fuse, which protects the transformer output, failed. And when I took the fuse out, wherever it's wandered off to, I found that some bright spark had put a 2 amp fuse in. Well, this is a 5 amp power supply. So yes, the mains needs protecting, it's certainly no more than, than 3 amps to take surge into consideration. The transformer has built in primary protection, so it has a built-in thermal fuse, but the secondary needs to have a fuse in it which is going to protect it sensibly, and so I haven't got any 5 amp fuses in stock, so whilst ordering from RS Components, I've got some 5 amp fuses. So I've just changed the capacitor for a 35 volt rated one, and we've just changed the fuse, and we'll lit back up. So here we go. Now it's a bit high. Nothing I can do about it, it's kind of preset but it's within the limits we'd expect and if I just connect the meter across the output we've got 14 and a half volts so it's a bit high from 13.8 but that's off load and on load we just put our lamp in I'll 
I'll just put a piece of paper over there, it's going to be too bright. And then check this again. It's 14.2, which is very slightly high, but within tolerance. Most uh, radios are, are not going to be uh, worried over, uh, you know, point 0.4 difference. So I'll now screw this back together and we'll see if it still works. Okay, so the final take on this. Taran 5 amp power supply, and remember it is the 5 amp one, clearly stays 70 watts on the front, not the 3 amp more usual one. And put it all back together, switch it on, bulbs lit up, and if we can get a connection on the meter, which is always fun when you've got things plugged in. 14.2. So there we are. Another power supply lives another day. So we got rid of that huge old fashioned capacitor out of it that somebody had added to clearly um, sort out a problem. The problem would would be originally be the capacitor there. And um, so two capacitors, upgraded that 2201 to 35 volts. And um, and then of course we put the 5 amp fuse in which we found was wrong and while I was at it of course I put the 3 amp fuse in the plug push because it was a 13 so yeah the Taran power supply I know there's some interest out there that's why I've covered it I've dug ours out and ours lives again thanks for watching